Ms. Wang. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome hello. back. Thank you all for joining us tonight. Uh, we are going to talk some recent sales and maybe see if you guys have any pickups. But let me roll our intro real quick here. <laughs> Okay, where do we want to start? I know Carter's probably got stuff he wants What's to show. What's up, everybody? It's good to be back with all of you. What's going on? What's going on? Carter's got him in his hand already. You all been good? You all been good? How do I sound? How you go? You sound what? good, man. Pablo, I want to know how you've been, too. How you been, Pablo? Starbucks is paying me a lot of money for this. So. <laughs> Dude, are you, are you, wait, you're, do, you're, you're inside of Starbucks right now? Yeah, hey, look, look, in LA, it's hot as hell right now. But, but where are where are you right now? You're not in LA right now. I am in Manhattan Beach, but it's oh, like, got it. <laughs> I'm running the AC all night, man. So I have to. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It is it is hot here right now. It is hot. Don't come but... to LA. Even tomorrow Sunday is gonna be insane. Like Death Valley is gonna be like a 128. Or something. Oh wow, Ugh. that's crazy. Right. Ugh. that's bad. Tomorrow's gonna be in the hundred. So and this that's... is this is this is dry heat. So you basically, when you when you sweat, it just evaporates. Right, 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 <laughs> right. That's yeah. wild. I know Anyways, Miami this, is also. This know, is the weather podcast. The weather is crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's kind of good to see how everybody's doing. Right? A little bit. Right? Right, sure, hey. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Duke, how you doing? It's been a bit too. You all good? I'm all right. I'm all glad right. we're doing this so night early. I haven't. Seen I know, week, right? But and this is kind of cool. I like this. This will be pre-recorded, so everyone will see it on Sunday. But uh, cool. we're not. We're not live. We're gonna try to do some pre-recorded episodes since we've been because we've been absent these past couple of weeks because it's like we have so many people. It's hard to make the schedule happen for a live show. So yeah, instead of right. just missing it, we're gonna do some mm. episodes like this. Mm -hmm. By the way, congrats, uh, Maya, on the Google this works. article. Oh yeah! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that was. Cool. Oh right, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Congrats. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah, that for those really of you guys who didn't see it, uh, Go Collect asked me to can write a VHS article. Us? Yeah, let me let me can see if I can pull it up. Uh, Let's pull it up. We should definitely pull, pull that up. Yeah. Yeah. That was absolutely. Awesome. That's a that's a cool thing. We need more of that. We need more more of that. Maybe you, Danny, you do an article. Maybe, man. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I can I can write a lot of articles. <laughs> I'm more, you know, Pablo, I'm more of like the talker kind of guy. Like, I like writing, but I'm more of like, I can express myself better this way. Yeah. All right, let me share that with you guys. So if you guys didn't see it, I wrote an article for Go Collect about VHS collecting. The very first thing I wanted to dispel was that Disney clamshells are not worth shit. Everyone oh. thinks they are. Every news article I see is like, your closet might be full of gold. So the first thing I talk about is they're not. Right. Some, some are worth. Not right. when they're open. No, not when not, they're open. Not when they're open and when they're like, I think the early, early Disney's, right? I'm not too. Yeah, I don't definitely have not a lot the of 90s Disney. and 2000s clamshells that everyone opened and watched and broke into pieces. They're not worth anything. Throw them away. No, um, de definitely so yeah, not. No. If you guys want to check it out on Go Collect's website. Yeah, it looks great. Very but, cool. Uh, Very cool. We'll check it out. So then, um, before, actually, before we get into this, let's do our pickups. Carter, Carter, you want to start? Uh, sure. Let's get busy. Um, I don't know if I had, I don't know if I had shown this, but uh, dude, Danny, uh, fatal attraction. The poster uh, behind me, dude. Look at that. That's yeah, Danny beautiful. wanted to bring this up. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 That's nice. Look, there's the poster behind me, dude. Look at that. That's that's 88, right? 88. That right is. Now? Yeah. That's Fatal Attraction. That's 80, 1987 release. Um, the the date is 88. In, the movie came out. Yeah. In, yeah the tape, the, the video came out in June of 88. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, Fatal Attraction. I don't know if you're all, if you know, if you know a lot about this film, but this was one of the biggest hits of 87 and it, it exploded at the box office. It is a humongous film and it kind of carried on to like 88. It's actually one of my favorite movies. I absolutely, I'm kind of obsessed with it. I've been obsessed with it. Um, but uh, this particular film, um, I think it was number, if you guys can look it up, I think it was number one or number two at the box office in 87. Look at top hits of 87. And I think Fatal Attraction is right below Three Men and a Baby, because Three Men and a Baby was number one. Oh, uh, Three Men, yeah. He's yeah. the first thing that I saw, like a, like a bunny being cooked. Yeah. Oh, uh, 
Uh, hey, but before you put that tape away, let's look at that barcode because that's important to check, to check the barcode out because that mm. defines the print. Sure. So that barcode is, that is the, it's got the ISBN on it. So that would be the following year release. So that would be the 89 release of that particular tape. Because that, the, fir the first print would just have the single barcode on this particular tape. Is there an ISBN on there, Carter? Because I can't tell. I yeah, I can I can kind of see it. I, you can see it. I know, you know, I know that barcode upside, well. Let me get mine down. now. Carter, let me get mine out so I can show you. Hold on. All right. So, yeah, I there's have, the ISBN. I, there's, is there a difference have, in the barcode? Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There it is. See it? Yeah. Okay. I had one, but I sold it to Mikey. Oh, you, you had what, one of these? You had a physical attraction, Chris? I'm almost 100% sure. Was it, was it this one? Was it this one? I don't remember. It was, oh, okay. It was the first release. The one that Danny has and then Carter. Is this one. And then the one that Carter, the one, Carter, the one you have is right after. So maybe like eight months after. Like that's not like the, re, the, the, the one that came out the following year. But, I, I, but as you can see, they're both the same. Let's look at the front and the sides. See the exact same front. Yes. Same sides. Barcode on the side. Everything's the same. Watermarks on the side. Mine are a little worn. Wow. But you know, guys, one of these prints, I have a bunch of Fatal Attractions. One of these I've actually had since June of 88. I bought Damn. it for $60. Damn. Are there yeah. a lot of tapes like that? That the only way that you can tell if it's an actual first release is by the barcode? Uh, yeah, usually the barcode, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's usually by the barcode. Yeah. The barcode is a big Holy definition on the tapes, yes. Probably Paramount tapes, you have to pay attention to that kind of stuff. The, Just pa Paramount. the barcodes. Yeah, no, Paramount. But, no, no, technically, all releases. Because every release to change from year to MCA, year. You have that problem. So, you wouldn't have that problem with MCA, so. MCA is what, Pablo? You wouldn't have that barcode thing with MCA. No, MCA switched their barcodes around too. Yeah. yeah. If you notice, if you notice, Back to the Future, Back to the Future is one of them. The barcodes the on the side, and the then they switched barcode? to the back. What? It will be the same tape, like like, and then the barcode on the side different. Uh, yeah, I mean, okay. when when the barcode switches on any box, the tape already changes inside. Something inside the tape will be different than the original release. It all, it's always the case. Okay. Yeah. So, but hey, but hey, but that's know. still a great print, though. That's still an amazing print. Okay. The, cool. Your fatal attraction, dude. Hell yeah! Look. It's still a good one, dude. I like I it. I love it. I, okay, so yeah. now I gotta find the one without the bar, without the uh, ISB. Yeah, exactly. Now you gotta go with the one with the, without the ISB. Okay. Exactly. Cool. All right. Um, does anybody know anything about this? My I demon know. lover. Yes. My demon lover. Yes. Uh, what year is this? That was my ex girlfriend, probably. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 19, 1987. That's funny. Six. It's got the six sided. It's got, um, you know what? Let me take this out. It's got the. It's got the. It's got the yeah. um, watermarks on the side. The watermarks on the side. Yeah. Okay. So, so Betamax? My, is that a that's a VHS, right? Yeah, VHS. VHS, yeah. Pablito, you you know about horrors. You you would know this movie, maybe. Is it a horror tape? It's oh, like it's a, a, it's, horror, well, it's, it's kind of like a PG horror 13. comedy, right? Yeah. With that cover, it doesn't look like horror, but it could be. Yeah. Yeah. The only way to tell is like his his hand is like a monster hand. Um, yeah, it's and on it's her called bed. Pablito, yeah. and it's called my yeah. demon lover. So what do you I think? Seen it, to be I lived I lived through this. <laughs> I the girl in the past, but... <laughs> well, it, it looks interesting. Is it from the eighties? Yeah, uh, nineteen eighty-seven. Eighties movie. Yeah, this it's is. A, um, it's from eighty-seven. This guy right here. If it's eighties, I mean, if, let me look at the reviews real quick. But um, yeah, this guy right 1987, here. Nineteen eighty-seven. Well, the reviews are not the best. It's four point six on IMDb, but you know. That might be a, a cult movie. I don't know. Yeah. Or if you get a good deal, I mean, it's it's, it's a good investment. That's um, yeah. Um, this guy right here is um, Mallory's boyfriend on uh, Family Ties. Right. Yeah. Mm. So. He was. He did a lot. He did a lot in the eighties. Yeah. This movie, I would say, this movie uh, wasn't necessarily like a hit because I don't remember it too much. But right. mm -hmm. but it was. But it's there. It's sort of part of the. You know. Yeah. It was like comedy horror. You know. Yeah, it was like forty bucks. I'm like, and how, right. wait, what year does it say that movie's from? It's eighty seven. Yeah, eighty seven. Eighty eighty what? Eighty seven. Eighty seven. Does it say eighty seven on the box? Yep. Okay, so then probably what that should have would be the 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 Columbia uh, the watermarks on the back. 
So this would probably be the yeah. It should they should be on the back because it's still eighty seven. Yeah, second release, but I'm like, man, no, it's still cool. Yeah, back. just kind of yeah. All right, uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, the the Untouchables. Oh, dude, yeah, I love it. Uh, Betamax. Love it. Sweet. How cute I love is this? it. This is a so very adorable. cool. Very very cool. Oh, sweet. No ISBN. No ISBN. No. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> it's still a that great. Really there's still a great it. one. It's still a great one. Absolutely. Watermarks on the side. There's one. Uh, betas during, when the Untouchables came out, Betamax was still doing back watermarks on a lot of their prints. So this doesn't necessarily mean that it's not uh, first. It's just that there are some out there with the back watermarks that came out simultaneously because the VHS itself, the VHS has just side watermarks. The VHS okay. does not have back watermarks. So this is, you know, this is a great tape. Sweet. And I love that movie, by the way. You guys, you guys seen the Untouchables? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Yeah, I yeah, love it. Pablo, you seen The Untouchables? That's Robert De Niro, dude. That's, Faulkner, that's, that's um, incredible. Sean over Connery. And over and over again. Seen that movie so many times. Oh, oh you've, okay. you've seen The Untouchables a million times, too? Oh, hell yeah. yeah. I love it. Oh, Blade Runner. There you go. Oh, sweet. Ooh, that's Blade a nice Runner. One. I can't believe I found this. This was great. <laughs> I can't believe they that, shipped it. That... <laughs> Well, that is, uh, you guys, you want to talk a little bit about that print or, yeah. That's the Nelson print. That's yeah. the Nelson print, yes, Yeah, that's Chris. bizarre. A lot of yeah. Nelson tapes I don't see watermarks on. I didn't even know Nelson yeah. tapes did watermarks. Yeah, yeah the watermarks on the bottom, yeah. Correct, yeah. Wow. Because mm -hmm. yeah. isn't, uh, isn't it one of the reprints of Bill and Ted, the Nelson tape? Uh, yes, it is. I don't oh, think, I think it has watermarks. Yeah, the yeah, first yeah, yeah. print is the Nelson tape, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Oh, is mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I don't remember. I'm but it's the one without the border. The, the one without wait, the, border. the first print was what, Chris? You said? Wasn't it Nelson without the Which border one? though? The Blade Runner? The no, Bill no, no, no. Oh, Bill the Bill and Ted. Yeah, the Bill and Ted is. Yeah, it should be a Nelson release. Yes, that's late '80s. Yeah, by the time Bill and Ted came out, uh, it was. A, it should be a Nelson release. Yes. Wait, what's up with the one with the borders? Like the you have one. You have the Bill and Ted with the white border, and then you have the one with the black. The border. one with the white border is later, I believe. They're both. They're both later versions. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because then there's one without the border. Yeah, the one without mm. the border is the one you want. That's mm -hmm. the earliest. Okay. Right mm -hmm. there. Yeah. But should it have watermarks? But it, but it's Nelson. Yeah, it should have some watermarks if it's oh, Nelson. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I remember seeing the copy with watermarks. So we got a yeah. Blade Runner. Um, ooh. Um, what else am I showing off? Oh, crap. We got ourselves a uh, Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Ooh, oh, that's can't cool. Go wrong there. Sweet. We got right. a seal. seal can't go wrong with that one. That's a uh, um, H seam. Is this an H seam? Horizontal seam. That's. Is that what Horiz yeah, horizontal. Yeah. yeah, I think. Yeah, I. You know, I always get confused with those terms. H seam. I know. This seam. Right? I don't know it's if they like call either... it an H seam because it's like the on the it's sealed on the sides and yeah. then across the back, so it's like a letter H. Or if it's just yeah. a horizontal, I don't know. But yeah. Yeah, it's like just make it simple. Horizontal, vertical. You know, it's like yeah. Danny, what do you know about yeah. that? What do you know about that? the Miramax? Well, here's the thing. Like uh, that is something that Miramax was doing on some of their tapes and. The real the 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 Pulp Fiction is already kind of like a ninety five release for me, and that's kind of like I'm I'm a little lost in the mid nineties stuff uh -huh. because most of what I know is eighties. That's okay. that's where my obsession was. All so right. a lot of times I know things were very shifty and changed constantly in the nineties. So um, I wouldn't necessarily have the right advice for you on that, but it looks like it's an early print. But Pulp Fiction, by the time Pulp Fiction came out, that's something that I would have gotten on Laserdisc. I wasn't even thinking video at that time because I was doing Laserdisc. That, that, is, that is the, it should be the first release. It I'm should not, be what? It should be the first release. That should be the, yeah, Pablo, do you know about that one? That should be the first opinion, thing? that's the first release. What do you think, Chris? Do you know anything about this? Yeah. Um, the one that says collector's so edition, yeah, as far as the case, it's a, it's a first release case. That's a first. Sure. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so absolutely oh, nice. not the first. And it's, uh, it's on the 90s, like, like Danny, uh -huh. Like if you're gonna be buying or investing on tapes, I will yeah. say stick with the '80s. But if you're gonna go '90s, I will get Pulp Fiction, yeah, Michael, exactly, and, Drake, and the Matrix. Yeah, yeah but support, I will say go. But I don't wait, know. Wait, wait, wait. You said Pulp Fiction, Fight Club, The Matrix, and what's the other one? Point, point break. break. Point Break. Okay. Yeah. Point. Oh, dude. I mean, yeah. Point Break. Absolutely. That's dope. That which one is that oh, one? Reunion. Class reunion. reunion. Oh, that's dope. Oh, that's Vestron. Oh, nice. Vestron. Nice, dude. Ooh, 
Van Strong. Oh, dude, that's dope. That's dope. Let's let's see a close up of that. Okay, yeah. so this is a uh, 1983. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, okay, that's cool. Yeah. Now that's yeah, that's that's dope. That's dope. Now, that's Matt. actually that's an early Vestron <laughs> tape. Yes. Yes. Uh, Crest reunion from '83, and yes, that is the correct seal that they were using at the time. Vestron. Uh, uh, they didn't have watermarks at the time. They right. just had that very beautiful silver uh, seal at the bottom of the tape. Yeah. So securing Carter, it. Let, me, let me ask you, Carter, why, why do you get this specific title? What, what, was, what was it that you like about it? Okay, uh, this one is it, what early Vestron, it had the that's good on it. It was like fifteen dollars. And, Dude, that, that's and here's the thing here's the thing, the I'll other, give you 20, <laughs> right? I'll give you 30, double up real quick. Double, double up. Okay. Double so, up. the early print, the other prints, not I'm not early, but other prints. It's just basically it's blank right here. It doesn't have Vestron on it. Right. That, and I believe it's just a barcode and it says 1982. So people get it confused. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They'll think, oh, this is the earlier release because it says 1982. Right. It says 1983, but this is it right here. But you that's got the, the one. You that's got the, the one. That's the original mm -hmm. release. Yeah. yeah that's and this the is one. the only copy that I saw. That was available that had all this that held right. all the trappings. Well, that's a dope, Pablo. That's a dope tape to have. I mean, it, it, even that that just the fact that it's early Vestron, early VH. It's just I I, yeah. I would I would have gotten that one. Hell I haven't yeah. necessarily seen it, but if I'd seen that, I'm like, yeah, yeah I'm getting first that. time I see it like that. Yeah, right. right. For sure, Chris. Okay. Do you know what I'm talking about though? Even oh, though yeah, not, you know, of course, like it's it's cool because it has the back. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the it's early Vestron. If box. it's that old Vestron back, and it's then it's got the it's seal really on the bottom, cool, yeah. you get it. Can yeah. you help me make sense of this? Man, that's, mm. I don't know, man. That I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, what so year is that? 70s? 19. Okay. Um, the date says, I'm sorry about the glare, but it says 1981 uh, Electric Video Inc. Wow. Electric cool. Video Inc. Um, this, it's, it's, I mean, US release? Um, yeah. It's okay. So this movie is from 1975. Uh stars uh, uh Peter Cushing, aka Grand Moff Tarkin, okay. and uh John Hurt from uh 1984. Uh but um yeah, I don't like I came across this. I mean, this thing is beautiful. Uh for what I paid for this, like that's what the, that's what loose copies that are dingy as hell. That's what those you know they sell for what I paid for this. Right. And this thing is bone white. Doesn't even look real. And um, what do you know? Do you know anything about Electric Video Inc? Uh, no, I I don't. That's I would I don't think that was one of the major uh, studio releases. But Pablo, do you any any you know anything about that? Never seen this cover or never heard about this movie. So. <laughs> I never seen it. And can you tell us how much was that? The, Did you get a good deal on it? I got. I, I'll tell you behind the scenes. Oh, okay. but, uh, it was a it was a hell of a good deal. Hell oh, okay, of a good. deal. Well, you know that's all that matters. You paid very little, and you got you know a cool little unique, very obscure tape that. So this is like a British it's, film. It, dude, it, it's so obscure that not even Interceptor knows what it is. <laughs> Percussion. I mean, that's a. Uh... That's a that's a horror actor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, 1975 British film. So it's a it's a movie from the UK. Oh, okay. okay. That's why right. we don't know, Danny. Well, Pablo, we do know some movies from the UK. I mean, right? <laughs> yeah, this one is. I don't know, but it looks. It has decent reviews. It's really so. cool. But it's pretty cool. But it's it, it, dude. It. It's it's so unique. We don't know what it is, but you got the one copy, right? I so that's I, cool. I I know about um, uh, Electric Video Inc. is like a they had a handful of titles, you know what I mean? Just like a couple titles, you know, like I, I would say probably a dozen titles. Okay. The name, and then they just kind of, you know, went out of business. So got it. I got I, I got to figure out what the hell's going on here. <laughs> we got to figure it out. Okay. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, dude, yes. Oh, Rebel with a cause. I love that one. That oh, is a dude. clam. Look how beautiful. beautiful this is. That is stunning. Oh, dude, it has a silver sticker on it. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Dude, that's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Up, is, it, is it is it intact? Can you can you take take it out of the plastic? We can see it better. Yeah. yeah. We can see. I mean, we can show it. Carter, Carter, you beat me on that one. Oh really? <laughs> that's really nice. How many, how many, how many seconds? But how many seconds? I don't know. I was at the mall and I saw it. I'm like, God mm. damn it, I missed it. <laughs> that is stunning, dude. Can you bring can you bring that security silver sticker to the wow. phone? That's, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, yeah, yeah. I can, I can. That looks beautiful, and looks you know the cool thing about that is, if you notice, that clamshell doesn't have any Warner plastic on it because that's how yeah. clamshells came without the plastic. Yeah, man. That was like a big. Uh, that was something that we everybody was trying to figure out last year um, with these clamshells. But I was always saying they don't have plastic. They don't have plastic, and then you know more and more keep coming out with no plastic, and this mm -hmm. is a perfect example of that. Yeah, uh, I love that movie. Obviously, James Dean. It's a classic. I mean, who doesn't like that movie? Rebel with the Cousin. The fact that it's a clamshell and the, the silver sticker's intact, that is definitely a, a little banger there, for sure. This, this I love amazing. it. And the colors look amazing. Dude, I know. It looks vibrant, dude. Mm -hmm. It literally, it literally, it, it looks like it just came out of the shop or something, dude. I, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, when, um, when You shouldn't my, be touching it, Carter, like comic books. Don't touch it with your fingers. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Put gloves on. You got to put gloves on, bro. <laughs> I feel like the comic books, when you touch in the comic books, you know. These things... <laughs> Listen, no soon as I get these tapes, they go right into comedy. Yeah, you should, you should definitely, I mean, that looks like stunning. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like Does that go on a, that's a golden age plastic to that, fit that one in? Uh, this is just a regular current. Current, really? They right. fit in there now. Okay, yeah. Now, uh, Carter, is that is this a price that you want to share with us, or is this something that we have to go go on eBay and figure out how much you pay for? <laughs> oh, uh, I got <laughs> this, was, uh, this was 150. Oh, yeah, that's dude, that's, that's, dude, that's a that deal. No. Hey, hey, Maya. Um, uh, did our friend get his tape from our this friend? He got he. I I sent him a link to um, to a really nice copy of uh, it was a clamshell of I think it was vacation. Oh, you know what? I didn't ask him. Okay. I didn't. I ask did. Him. I did. I did see. I that. know I he got it, it, but I don't know if it has yeah. arrived. Are you oh. talking about Nico? Nico? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I saw. I saw it. <laughs> Where's Nico? I was gonna say if he didn't get it, send me the link. No, I, I no. He actually no. I saw. It. He sent me pictures of it. Did, was it. did that come from you? That came from you. Uh, that came from you. That came from that seller. I said because he because it was a little too rich for my blood, but Dude, I knew. But do you do you do you know? Did you know that one? Like that? That's a pretty yeah. mind blowing tape. Yeah, yeah. The, your, I, it was a, the vacation tape, right? Uh huh. Yeah, dude. Love, that's like yeah. Dude, I'm that's like, like that's up there, dude. Yeah, he said yeah. yeah he got it. Okay, I would yeah. love to get that one. Ugh. Yeah. Oh All yeah, right. Nico. Nico got that tape, the vacation one, right? Yeah, yeah the vacation. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. he said it, he said it came. All okay. right, cool. I don't yeah, think it's a I, huge, huge tape. It's a big tape, but not like tremendously huge. Pablo, so, but that dude, so, vacation's iconic. He was, he was excited about that it. Is, I was like, man, okay. <laughs> Carter, Carter, so you got Rebel Without a Cause. You beat me to it. <laughs> you didn't send me the link for your. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, like, listen, any, um, any hookups go directly to George, just because he got me into For this. For sure, of course. I'm just yeah. I'm just messing around. <laughs> you guys, almost, almost. I almost had him talked out of it because I'm like, no, you you just sent all your tapes in. Like, you don't need to be buying more tapes right now. Just oh, give it a man. minute. He's like trying to save all this money, so I'm like, no, don't buy it. It's fine. Like, almost. Out of it. No. I almost talked him out of it. No, and then he was like really excited. But I was like, okay, you got to do it. You you haven't dropped it yet. You should buy it. Okay, um, uh, what's up with this? That's a promo. Yeah. Yeah. Straight That's a, a promo that, with the watermarks on. Okay, and what does it say? Anything about video store copy promo or anything like that? Yeah, it has like it, it lists all its attributes. It tries to sell okay. the movie. That's probably uh, most likely like a video store promo that they sent out to the video stores prior to release, just okay. to promote the film. Yeah. It looks like it. Cool. I think it's cool. Yeah, yeah. that is cool. And it's it's, it's, it's Street Fighter, dude. That's cool. Tell me what you what you what you know about this. What you know about this? Manhunter. Oh, dude, I love Manhunter, dude. That's, that's, a, dope, uh, that's yeah. a dope movie. That's a dope movie. Yeah, 1980. Hannibal Lecter. That's that's, a dope, that's Manhunter, dude. I have that one. I have that one. I'm yeah, I watched. Yeah, I watched this movie, dude. It feels like it feels like I'm watching an episode it, of Miami. It's a really. Of Miami Vice. Yeah, because it feels because it's uh from the it's literally yeah. the creator of Miami Vice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's and it's a mid eight is it what year is that? Eight, 86. 86. 86, yeah. 
Look at this watermark. That's yeah. Cool. Little yeah, cute. let's get let's bring that closer, closer. Because we can little this little cute oh, watermark right there. The first appearance of Hannibal Lecter on a VHS. Exactly. Mm -hmm. My that's a, yeah, that's a good movie. Hannibal I like it. Manhunter. I have that. I have that. I'm gonna and this is actually behind the plastic. Oh, that's behind the plastic? Yes. Yeah. Interesting. But I notice all the copies have this. Have that. I'm going to pull yeah. mine out and see what mine mm -hmm. looks like. I'm going to get a. Yeah, I'd like to pull mine out because I'd like release? to compare it. I don't. The first release, right? I believe so. Oh, I can't. I, the thing is, I can't really see the watermark because I can't, I can't really see it up close. It's kind of hard to see it, but. I know. Uh, it says. Uh, car, it says. Carl, Carl Lorimar. Carl like Lorimar. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Carl, is it, is it Carl Lorimar uh, watermark? That's what I was going to ask you because I can't yep. read it. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, there is a later release and yeah. it's uh, from Warner Brothers and it has the, right, the Warner. Yeah, for, Warner, yeah. Um, forget that watermark. one. But it does yeah. have the Carl Lorimar uh, watermark. That's that, that's what's yes. on there? Yes. Just one thing, guys. When we uh -huh. grade this tape, it better says first appearance of my man, Hannibal Lecter, on that label. Otherwise, Trash, right? <laughs> <laughs> appearance, appearance on that label, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's a good movie. I'm I'm so hey, man, I'm that's the actor from CSI Las Vegas, William Peterson. Man. Oh, dude, yeah, I know. He's he's he I did a lot, guy. yeah, he's he did a lot. Actor. Yeah, this was a really good movie. It was, it's a good movie. I love, I, I, I have it. I should put my name when you were in, LA in the video store. What was that? This is the LA 86. <laughs> When you were at the pretty, video store. Dude, pretty much just living the video Vida Loca all day. That sounds awesome. <laughs> pretty much. Okay. Um, That's what my... We picked oh, dude. Ooh, War, War Games, games dude. War That's games. amazing. I love that movie. Dude, one I those. love it. I sold it. Hey, what was that? I had one of these and I sold it, so congratulations. That's I mean, awesome, dude. That's a beautiful, beautiful... I, lo I love War Games, dude. Can we see um, the bottom of that tape? Yes. I'm gonna try because to... we want to know if it has the white sticker, then it's later. But if it doesn't, then it's still early. Oh, dude, nice. Ooh. Yeah, that's early. Oh, that's a wicked copy. That's a mm -hmm. wicked tape. It's still it's... very early, even though it has. <laughs> he turned it's off early. the lights. It's the first release, Danny. Like a clamshell. What? what was that? The clamshell is the first release. No, I'm not. No, the War Games. No, it wasn't a clamshell. War like Games. Box, right? I mean, it could be. It could be. I'm not a hundred percent sure because I I have the the slipcase for this, but it could be the. Big, but what year is that War Games again? Okay, so this is uh, eighty four, yeah. right? Eighty four, right? Uh, yeah, eighty four. Okay, so yeah. it should be it should be slipcase. I don't think I've seen. I have not seen a big uh, CVS box box I did for that. See, okay, I did see it, a it, big box. Is there one? I believe so. Yeah, for War it, Games, there's one. Okay. US release. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it should. It, if it's US release, then it's US release. That's what I'm saying. Because that that movie came out right at that cutoff when they were switching big boxes to slipcases. So. There could be one. It's just that I can't remember it. But I don't think you look, there is. Somebody look on eBay. You don't, there oh, yeah, I'm, look, isn't, right? I'm looking. I'm looking there right isn't, now. Right? I, don't, I don't see open ones. Nothing. Yeah. Those, the only ones that I've seen, there's a clamshell, but it's foreign. It's okay, uh, foreign, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, the Warner Home video one. That's thing, it. Thing, uh, if, you're, so, if you're interesting on tapes, anytime that you see those white watermarks for CBS Fox, I, I think you're in a good place, man. Yeah, yeah. And especially <laughs> this tape because it's still a great – early tape mm -hmm. and even though it has that 2998 sticker on it does it feel like does it feel heavy does the tape feel it heavy feels really heavy dude yeah, yeah i know then it's definitely a, a dope tape for sure yeah this, this one was an ebay buy because i i saw this and oh really was like a ninja carter so can you tell carter us how ninja. much was that tape this was <laughs> i think uh, i think i paid 250 yep. okay that's pretty decent that's pretty good pretty salty about it uh, <laughs> that tape disappeared in seconds when, Dude, when it, uh, are you looking it up right now are you yeah yeah up? i was trying to see if there was any other copies of it that were earlier but i don't see anything no no the, and the thing is guys with those cvs foxes um especially because they're right at the cutoff 83 84 i get a little confused myself because sometimes i'm like they were doing the big box and then switching to slip and sometimes I've had it where it's like I didn't think there was a big box because I've seen a lot of slips, but then there right. there was a little big box, a big box because it was right at that cutoff. Animal Ooh. House, amazing, mm, and amazing. Damn. Animal House, dude, wrap around Animal House. That's pretty great. All over. That's all really over. great. Yeah. That, that was reminds up, me. Hold on. That's awesome. Was that was that up for bid? That was a bidding. No. Right? It was a buy it now. Oh, it was, was a buy it now. now, dude. I remember uh, that. Yeah. Okay, I know, uh -huh. I know, I know. 
It, you know what? I think this was up for like a few minutes. You know, something like this. Yeah. Like you, you, but this was up for, I think, a few minutes. Right. So you grabbed it literally right when it popped. Let me go on even right now. This is the only time that maybe I beat Carter at these things. <laughs> I this Carter's I on it, man. I better be. I better. I better be really distracted if I miss a tape. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go on eBay right now. Maybe I have a chance. Is there? I mean, what? What's up with this? Like, how is this thing rare at all or not? Dude, yeah, of course it's a Extremely wraparound. Rare. I mean, the box before that would be the black box. The black Animal box, House. yes. But this tape is still a wraparound MCA. Yeah. That's still early. It's still an amazing tape. It's incredible. I think. I think there might be a rainbow wraparound. Uh, I mean, there's there there is a rainbow wrapper. This I'm is sure. still and then there's the one super, without. This is still then there's the one without the rainbow, which is like no watermarks. Which is still this is still an yeah, incredible this early. This is still extremely rare, Carter. It like, fits within 83, 84 yeah. release. It's so early, yeah. That's super sought after. I mean, dude, it's the it's the MCA wraparound watermarks. You can't go wrong with those. No, hmm. you can't. You can't. So what, year, what what year release of VHS is this? Eighty two or eighty three? That the one. Case? I believe the I original think. one should be 80 when they all first came out when they released the black boxes. Black MC box, yeah. So that would be 80. Um, but this movie is actually from the 70s. Right. Yeah. yeah. Look at this yeah. weird copy of Animal House. I, this was in a big lot that I bought of open tapes because I wanted the horror that was in it. Look at this weird. It's, it's like a clam and it's like a collector's thing. But look at this right. weird CD that's in the back of it. Oh. Isn't that oh, weird? Wow. <laughs> yeah. like, that would be. Like that's a, that's like a is that does it say MCA Universal on it on the box somewhere? Is it? Yeah, because they they started kind of yeah yeah yeah. It's a it's a '90s special whatever they did with those. That I wasn't paying what attention to those anymore. How do, even, how do you even play this on anything? Uh, well, <laughs> bizarre. Yeah. yeah, I think just like the way it spins, like it optic, like the little optic. Uh, center on it, it'll it'll find a way. It'll yeah. find a way to play. Yeah, find a way, yeah. Okay, we got Carter. It. You've been you went like shopping like oh, wild, dude. You went to a, a video nuts. store, dude. Is this like, dude? <laughs> <laughs> went nuts. Chris, he went out. He went all out. So is this like a pile up of the last three weeks or that you've yeah. been buying? Right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Bad Influence. That's a great movie with uh, Rob Lowe and uh, James Spader. Yeah, that's a, like yeah. a late uh, '80s film. Yes, I watched this movie. This movie was so absurd. <laughs> I mean, it's you know, it's one of those movies from the '80s, but I I think it's cool. It's it, it was a fun ride though, right? It's kind of cool. Oh hell yeah, for sure. It's a fun sure. ride. I mean, yeah. It's got the oh dude, yes, it's got the Columbia RCA watermarks. Yeah, that's what '89. So that that would be first print for that time for okay, that time so period. Yes. Yeah, so this release is 1990. So right, I'm, yes. Yeah. That's yeah, that, but just fine because uh, RCA was still releasing tapes at that time, but they, there were slipcases, so yes. Okay. And, Definitely. Okay, sweet. Here's the barcode. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, right. that matches That matches the time period. Uh, the, 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 the important thing about this particular print is those RCA watermarks on the side. Oh, yeah. That's the important part. Yeah. Yeah. If it didn't have those, I'd be like, it could be like a later release, but I, yeah. because it still has the RCA watermarks, it's still legit. Like I mean, it could actually, uh, it could be uh, TriStar watermarks, I think, Columbia TriStars. Yeah, but if it was Columbia TriStar, then it would be the following, but this still has RCA on it, so that's still early. This is that weird time period where you might see uh, like a, R a RCA sticker, but Columbia, but TriStar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It, yeah it's a whole thing. It's weird. it's weird dude it's like santa claus came to your house bro oh gosh dude, every day is just like uh maybe you know the mailman has been good okay. VHS santa claus volunteers love that one a clamshell yeah it's love. like it's love. torn up around here yeah. but you can tell it's never been open this thing is bone yeah wide. dude that's mm. sick i love it love it that's volunteers nice. yes Love that. That's from 1985. That's also an iconic film. John Candy, Tom Hanks, Rita Wilson. I love that movie. I have it. And that is what is the um, what is the plastic on it look like? Is it this is got does it have a seam on the back or is it okay? Um, let's take a look. Let's take a look. You can see it's tough to tell, but yeah. But can you see? Does it have a seam going through the middle of the back kind of thing, um, or is it? Or is I it... don't think so. Okay, does it have okay. two? It should have two vent holes then. Does it have, one in the well, front, not, not one always, in the back, not always, but really, I usually see them like that. It's kind of yeah. like small, like little 
no. Yeah, sometimes it's got <laughs> tiny little ones. And what so what does the plastic on that feel like? Does it feel kind of soft and it's very soft. It's like soft ish. Okay. Soft ish. Yeah, but you can tell it's never it's never been open. I know this like has been blown out. It's tough. Yeah, to yeah. It's kind of hard to tell with those it's particulars. Open? With those particular uh, ones, if there's no seam on the back, it really just comes down to having it in your hands and feeling mm -hmm. it out. Yeah. Um, yeah, I had an Amadeus without a seam, but it was yeah, really yeah, good. and they mm -hmm. did they did do them without the seam. But I do know that volunteers <laughs> would have a seam, but then sometimes they may have not. But it just comes down to the thorn plastic, which is very specific to these mm -hmm. copies. Yes. So that's what Tom Hanks uh, met uh, Rita. Rita, right? yeah, dude, exactly. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. that's really actually when they that. met. Yeah. And... She was an actress, and then yeah, we didn't get to work too much after that. Okay, I guess we'll do this one. <laughs> Carter's halfway through, guys. Dude, he's like, <laughs> oh, Frankenstein, that's a dope oh. one. Yes, that's Great. dope. Frankenstein, super dope. Frankenstein. That's dope. That's dope. So, so okay. So this is the pre-restored. Uh, pre that's still the wraparound on it, MCA, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. It's still yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. That would be the one again. We're going wraparound MCA. Mm -hmm. That would be around the same time period of uh, period as your Animal House, mm -hmm. um, because the what the box before that would be the black box. Okay. The black box, possibly rainbow watermarks, and then before that, no watermarks. Okay, right here. Okay, I think the the year later after this release is uh -huh. a restored footage edition. Yeah, so yeah. This is still cool. early because it's still wraparound, so it's still yeah. like eighty three, eighty four around that period. It's still a great piece, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. And what else? What else? What else? What else? <laughs> I got, man, look. Okay, I tell you what. I tell you what. I do yeah. a whole video. Uh -huh. Um, where I do the, um, where I do my, uh, where I do the tapes uh -huh. and about a week later, we, uh, we talk about, okay. Uh, then, then I'll come on here and then I'll talk about it. Got it. Okay. So we got, look at this. Oh, sweet. Ooh, Taste that promo confusing. tape. I Ooh, like nice. that. Look at that. Look at that. So we got the, okay, so we have this version here. It's weird. I picked these up both on the same day from like different people. And it's really tough to find a copy that has, MCA. Mm -hmm. it's got the MCA watermarks. It's tough to so see. Yeah, the other side, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. MCA That's watermarks. 90s. Yeah, MCA Universal. Yeah, and that's that's this was a big deal trying to find one with the um yeah. the watermarks. Yeah, because all the copies that I saw usually have the real. Yeah, they all have that real. Yeah, yeah. that's what? crazy. I was just looking to try to find a promo, a Days and Fuse promo. Probably like you're last back. Week. It's crazy. Yeah, back. I was just crying. I went to the bathroom to cry because Carter is taking everything on eBay. That I know. <laughs> I can't find shit. I don't know how he does it. I don't know Carter, how he does it. Carter, what are you doing? How are you getting all these? He's got tapes, some dude? secret he won't share. <laughs> oh, no. hey, listen. I'll let y'all know when I retire. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, dude, I mean, yeah, some of those tapes are they're they're awesome, dude. Look yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's that. nice. MGA yeah, because Universal. it dawned on me. Um, I know you guys are gonna make fun of me because I'm a little baby, but I was like. Mm -hmm. I thought DC Confused was a movie from the 80s. Like, and then I was like, but wait, Matthew McConaughey's in it. He's not that old. Right. So, and then when I found out it was from the 90s, I was like, oh, I'm yeah, so dumb. Yeah, 90, 90, 93. 94, right? 93, 94 yep, so I, yeah. I started looking for a promo for it yeah. and uh, couldn't find one because Carter already bought yeah, it. Yeah, that, that was his first movie, Dazed and Confused, actually. Look at that. Was that you Affleck's first movie, too? What was that? Oh. I think that was, was that Affleck's, Affleck's first movie. movie? Yeah. I don't know about Affleck, but I know that Matt, I read, because I, I do looked. like this movie, and I've read some yeah. history on it. Pablo, do you know some history on Days and Confused? No, I don't know the history. Okay. Well, some of the history is like, I guess that was his first movie, and I, from what I've, 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 the interviews that I've watched, I think he was at a bar, mm -hmm. and he the met casting the casting director. director at the bar, and the casting director was in town casting the movie, and I guess brought him in to read for that, and I guess, you know. Then he got it, yeah. Then he got yeah. it, yeah. I think this I, is I read that too. Wow, well, yeah, because yeah. that, that was even before the Texas well, Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Elvis Presley. This makes sense to me to buy. Um, yeah, yeah. It's a, big, it's a big, yeah. This is my, okay. Um, is this 
Elvis's most iconic perform like young Elvis's most iconic performance. What do you think? Uh, or most iconic image? I don't know. Uh, uh, no, I would. I, I'm not. I mean, I love. I like Elvis, but I don't. I'm not well versed on all his films. But I get. You know, I get what this, you mean. Yeah. But this is. Uh, it's definitely. It's. It's Elvis. So and it's a big box MGM box. So you can't go wrong with that. Okay. So you still got a good one there, dude. You want to find if you can like the first VHS movie with him. I don't know mm -hmm. what what it will be. This one yeah. is also good to buy. Okay. So from, from what I re yeah, from what I researched, I believe this is either this is early or his first. I yeah. don't don't quote me on it. I'm trying to find the first movie that he's ever done. If you I can, have, if you can get it cheap, you can get it. Okay. Yeah. So I think yeah. I have so the MVC. The so. You know, the, the vinyls. Uh, I mean, all those early Elvis, the Sun Records. Yeah. Those are the ones that sell big uh, times. Mm -hmm. So VHS, I mean, iconic covers like that. And then the first movie that he's ever done, I, I think you cannot go wrong with that. Sweet. Yeah. Chris, you're yeah, right. You did mention something important. Mm -hmm. I remember you showed me those tapes. Talk about that for a second, your Elvis, because you have a nice so little I Elvis have, collection. Yeah, dude. I'll go grab them. Hold on. He Hold should. On. He should. Now that we're on the Elvis subject now. Oh, yeah. Let's take it back a few more years. Yeah. Let's take it back some years. Sir. Give me a oh, yeah. One more One more tape. One more tape. Captain <laughs> uh, <laughs> Crooks from uh, the late 80s. This is yeah. one of my favorite cartoons okay. and toy lines. So we got a couple of episodes in here, and that's it. I that's see. All I got. That's all I got. That's it. Are you sure, dude? Are you I, sure? I actually, actually, no. You sure about that? I got. A, I got a lot more, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Who's next? So check these out. Chris. Yeah, uh, Chris. Chris has got some tapes. Oh, there you go. Oh, why? There you go. That should be first or yeah. second, right? Dude, yeah. Oh, those watermarks. Those are magnetics. Tapes, uh, magnetic tapes, yeah. Those are those are all Elvis, right? All of them. Now, Paradise Carter, Hawaiian style. Do you, I mean, uh, Chris, do you think that maybe so with that jailhouse movie that he just showed us, would that also be in a magnetic? You think maybe or that? No, that's that's the the MGM big box. That's the MGM big box, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Which there's another one too. There's one of him in a concert. Okay. okay. I, have, I have that jailhouse rock plus Elvis on tour. It's back there. Hmm. It's back there. Okay. Yeah. But then I you, got this set together, GI Blues. I mean, nice. And Elvis. But died, I mean, Elvis bring died. it closer to the camera, Chris, so we can see it. There you go. That's better. Now we can see Elvis, it. Elvis died. Yeah. Look, yeah. Look, look at those watermarks, man. I love those, dude. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. This is 1980. Nice. Yeah. 1980. Ah. Yeah. Check this out. Fun in Acapulco. Nice, dude. Those are great. They are. Yeah. And you've had, I remember because you've had these for a bit. Because I remember you showed me, you showed yeah, me. Yeah, it's, like, it's yeah, been like like seven, eight months, I would say. Yeah, almost yeah. about a year. Yeah, those are great, dude. Yeah, still more, man. I got it, was literally a whole set. All Elvis, huh? girls, girls, all Elvis. I like that. That's girl, nice. girl, yeah. girl. I love That's that. That's the multi crew song, also. <laughs> That's it. They're those all are, pretty. Nice. They're all mint except Very. one. They're all pretty damn mint, man. Except one. There's some gray tapes. So I think three, like three or four of them, have gray tapes. Okay. Some are yeah. uh, two. The Di two -tone tape? has like a small little dent there. Okay. Did you say two tone tape at the bottom? Yeah. Yeah. There's all three right. or four. There's three of them. The two tone, right? The colored. Yeah. yeah. Two. Yeah. Those are. Yeah. Those are nice, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Approved. Approved. <laughs> do you guys think you guys what, what other musicians do you guys like? Approved. Like, do you like uh, Beatles? Do you like um, Iron Maiden? Do you like heavy metal? Do you like Led, Led Zeppelin's Prince? Band. Yeah. Do you think those are good buys, guys? Mm, I like I the like Beatles that. a lot, but I yeah. don't know that Beatles they, I like they just that. Put so much. The Osborne. I, I buy like all that. Aussie tapes because I'm a massive Aussie fan, so I I just buy it regardless. It's I like that, that Zeppelin clamp show. I like. Oh, actually, it. speaking of which, let me show you guys this. Um, it's a perfect opportunity to bring it up. So, I bought this tape back in May. I think I showed it to you guys then. When I bought it, no effects. That, okay. Ten years of fucking up. So they apparently just announced that they are no longer going to be a band after this year. 
Oh. Um, so I wonder if this tape that I paid like 20 bucks for, because I'm obviously a no effects fan and I bought it just because I liked it, will be worth anything. Yeah. And I then, mean, it could be. You never know. That's um, Fat Records, like Fat Mike from No Effects. Fat Records It's another one of their tapes that I got. Got but, it. Yeah. So I buy a lot of music tapes that are um, just stuff that I like. I don't necessarily know that they'll be worth anything, but uh, they're usually not very expensive. The Aussie tape, though, I think I showed you guys last week that I got from uh, Cult VHS. But I don't think I'll ever part with. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Yeah. I, love I have one, yeah. this on beta, but it is smashed to bits. That's really nice. That's a good one. Yeah. I love it. I love the cover on that. That's, yeah. Can you can you bring it closer to so we can see it? Because that's a really nice. That's dope. Yeah. Yeah, that's dope. What year? What, what year does it say on there, G? What year is that? Does it say year? I mean, it has to say year, but uh, year. This is '86. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Can yeah. you show us the back of that up close? The back of it too. Yeah, I think the watermarks are on the bottom now. Oh, nice. That's a good one. 81? Yeah. Oh, the, so blue, the, the blue. The beta that I have um, that is the same exact thing okay. has white CBS Fox watermarks. Right, because this should CBS have, I just saw the up. blue watermarks on this one. So this one, yeah. this one's probably in a 90 or a late 80s or 90s when the watermarks. Yeah. Let's, see the watermark, let's see the watermarks on that this again. This is definitely later than the beta. Yeah, that's later. Yeah, that's much later. Um, but yeah. It is in way better shape. I, I didn't send it to get graded, the other one I have, because while it is still sealed, I mean, it's definitely just been put through the ringer. And your other one does so. have the white watermarks in, right? Yeah. Okay. yeah. But I'm like, what's yeah. the point? You know what I mean? It's just for me. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's so, all about what you love. There's some you know? other weird ones um, that I wanted to ask you guys about. First of all, this strange thing. Hmm. Some hmm. old Vestron has Vestron watermarks. Okay, Vestron. That's probably uh, 80, never seen that. 80 something, 88. The most controversial film of the 80s, although I've never heard of it. Can someone look it up and see and let's let's figure this movie out for a sec? Like, what year is it exactly from? I don't think I know it. It's kind of weird to think. It says 1985. Okay, so 85, so then this is probably the, if this is 85, this is probably the reissue because 85, they didn't have watermarks, the Vestron watermarks, but still cool, right? So bizarre. Yeah, I can't find anything on it. Okay, so yeah. another tape. I have no idea what it is, but I couldn't let it go because I love Texas Chainsaw Massacre, so the return of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but it's such a bizarre, like, I've never heard of this company. I don't know what this is. Right. Because, like, this one with Matthew McConaughey is actually called Texas Chainsaw Massacre The Next Generation. So, got it. I don't know why this one says The Return of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Like, I don't know what anyone, it is. Anyone know that movie? Pablo, where did Pablo go? Maybe he knows. There he is. No, there Pablo, he is. <laughs> tell us about this Mr. Horror Expert. You know anything about this, Pablo? Oh, this, is, this is with uh, McConaughey and the girl from Jerry Maguire. Uh, right. This is a weird uh, Renee cover. Zellweger. Yeah, I mean, they, they basically are trying to push this bef after those two became, I mean, Rene became big star with Jerry Maguire, so it's time yeah, to push of course. this movie. Uh, but I, I, it doesn't have the best reviews, but for the for the horror collector, you know, when you want to complete the Texas Chainsaw franchise, you, you got to have it. You know? Yeah, it's just, it was super weird. It's the only one I found like this, and I just, I thought it was strange because all the other ones I have they're called Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the next generation. And that right. one does not say this. It says the return it. of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So I was like, what the hell? But Very it's made cool. by um, Ultra Muchos Incorporated, River City Films. And I'm like, I never heard of either of those either. So, nice. but, it's in, but it's in English. So I'm like, I don't know. Very no nice. Very nice. Very nice. No idea. The, uh, you guys, um, talking about remakes, I know that Hulu is going to have that movie Hellraiser. You know the remake or of the eighties. Yeah, I just saw that this week. Dead. I, I heard that. something about that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't. Chris, do you have a Hellraiser copy? No, no, I, I don't actually know. Everybody's trying to get a Hellraiser. Mm -hmm. I think I've only seen that once, honestly. The original Hellraiser. Yeah. Okay, so the original what? Too, uh, Hellraiser. Hellraiser. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Mikey, uh, wait, uh, my Pablo. We saw Mikey <laughs> brought his Hellraiser. We saw his copy. Yeah. So he has yeah, one at the convention. Yeah. He's got one. We saw his graded okay. tape. We're so both, seen... We were both looking at it, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So I found this. Um, 
Can't find it on Ooh, eBay. Around. It's got a wrap around, right? Which is why I bought it because oh, the only that's nice. That's cool. The only one I've ever seen of the brain that wouldn't die is like the Elvira movie showing of it on VHS. I've never seen right. the Warner Brothers, and it had a wrap around. I found somebody on Whatnot had it. I think I paid like four bucks for it, so I bought it, and it's now still, I can't find cool. another one. It's I'm cool. gonna get to get it in. Carter's way. like, I didn't see it. What? I didn't see it. Yeah. <laughs> because I bought it on Whatnot. I didn't buy it on eBay. Carter, you didn't oh, see it. Oh man. Whatnot next. <laughs> Don't reveal Carter, your yeah. secrets, Juke. You need to you get. You know, up. you need to get Carter a uh, Fatal Attraction it, on Beta with a back wrap on it. That's what you got to go for. So this was also in that big uh, bunch of open tapes that I bought. Was hidden in there. Was a sealed copy Ooh, of Conehead. Cool. Coneheads, yeah. Nice. Um, and it's got like side water marks. But I was pretty bummed because. It's got a tear at the top here somewhere. Uh, yeah, yeah, see the corner see is torn. Mm -hmm. So that was a bummer, but I wasn't even expecting there to be any seal tape. So this was in there, and this one was in there. Um, I'm surprised it's in as good shape as it in. And I what did find it? another one of these on eBay. Oh, nice. Oh, Stallone Jug Shred. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, but that's the uh, screener. Right? That's the screener, right? Yeah. The demo box. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, the yeah, screener. Yeah. yeah, that's a cool one. Oh, that's a, mm -hmm. I, I believe that's a video. Yeah, that's a video store Ooh. screener. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. That's it. So that was uh, just for what I've seen these sell for. This would like pay for yeah. the, the everything that I bought that day. Yeah. I bought a lot. Of, I think it was like um, probably 500 open tapes. A lot of them were horror. So right. I'm like, I was like, that was worth it enough for itself. But this, Definitely. I was like, so it has a seal at the bottom. It has. Uh, are you talking about this? Yeah. Yes. Oh, sweet. Hell yeah. Nice. Yeah. So that was cool find in there. Yeah. Um, what else too? You guys know me in cartoons. Couldn't help myself with these Adams Family tapes. Cool. They were That's super cool. cheap. Picked them That's up cool. because everybody's talking about the Netflix pickup mm -hmm. and how That's everybody cool. needs yeah. the choice for Gomez. That's so cool. I picked, you know. Yeah. Some weird watermarks well, on it. You know, that's that's what you know collect that's what VHS collecting is, is what really resonates with you and what you love and what you know what you connect to, right? Yeah, Adam Stanley mm -hmm. on cartoons couldn't pass that up. Yeah. I picked this up too. I was pretty bummed. The picture that I saw on it, I couldn't tell if this was the media or the media video treasure, so I took a gamble on it and bought it, and it is the video treasures one, so that was a bummer, but mm, so cool it. nonetheless. Um, I know one of these just sold and in, in one of the auctions. I think it was Golden's auction and it only went for like 200 bucks and it was the media. Oh, really? Yeah. So mm, I'm just wow. bummed about that, good. but I missed it. I wanted to buy it. I, I That's was pretty doing, good. I was doing my whatnot show and missed it, but it only <laughs> right, went right, for right. like 200 bucks. I'm so mad. Right, 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 right. You see that little sticker, Maya, on the front? Yeah. That yellow, white, and, and yellow. Usually that, that is not the first release. That That is my experience with, with the media tapes. Oh, okay. Really I have to remember that. that. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But that's all I had. Anybody else got some stuff they want to show Where's us? Where's Chris? Where's the boss, Chris? All right. Well, Chris, let's see what you so got, we, Chris. We've talked we've talked about this all week. Mm -hmm. And you just got a copy? Yeah. Oh, Which one's the <laughs> Nice. nice. Oh, that was a wacky yeah. movie, man. Brenda that's Brenda. a good one, dude. Yeah. Can you bring bring it up? Bring it up close so you can see it, like up too close to the screen. Let yes. me let me switch. It's one of the best eighties movies, man. That is so that, cool, dude. There you go. That is awesome. Well that is done, a good one, Chris. dude. You and Carter yeah. now. Mm -hmm. That is a good one, dude. You need to get myself one of these. Yep, it's that's a good one, dude. Man. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, the cover is so dope. He goes into the village to fight those guys when he's like a pomegranate <laughs> in the middle of that village. That 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 part alone makes this movie, man. That's a really cool one, dude. Uh, uh, Chris, did you man. did you get that on you got that on eBay too? On this eBay, thing? yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that up for bid or that was that just like an? No, I was buying now. It was, was buying now. Okay, cool. Yeah, nice, late, dude. That, was, that one was late night down, too. Then. Danny, yeah. you need to take it down next time. I need to take what down. Jim I love that movie, Romancing yep. the Stone. Romancing dude, the Stone. Like this is beta. Dope movie. But is, is that the, beta? Yeah. The cool one about this is uh -huh. that it's watermarks. Up. Yeah, dude. That's dope. Yeah. That's uh, so this would be that, the first print, right? That would be yeah, that would be like the first, yeah. yeah I just, it's first. not great tape head, but but this no, is the first but, one I but, see no, with but, the but but wait, dude, let's 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 remember one thing that that's a beta, so it doesn't necessarily mm. mean and also <laughs> not we not all the two tone you mean two tone tapes when you say great tape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because you call it gray tape. What's gray about? It? Yeah, well, it's two tone. Yeah. Sorry. It's two tone. Yeah, no, no. No, I was saying that. No, because when you say gray, when yeah. you say the gray, I'm like, I you get mean the whole tape. tape. 
The whole yeah, tape. I, I keep you. thinking the whole tape. I got um, you. I yeah, it's a, it's a, it's the two tone tapes. It's a colored flap. Uh, but yeah, no, it doesn't necessarily mean that it would be, you know, as long as it's early, um, mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily mean it doesn't have to be a colored of uh, two tone tape. But the beta, I uh, wouldn't have a uh, two tone tape because I think beta sometimes had like the white. You've seen, you actually seen a lot of the white flaps on the betas. Yeah. But dude, that is a great movie. That was a monstrous hit in '84 when it came out. Uh, Michael Douglas, uh, Kathleen Turner, they were so great in it. It's actually one of my favorite movies from that year. Have you guys? What, have you guys seen that? Any of you seen *Romancing the Stone*? A long time ago. Long time, long time, long time ago. ago. Dude. Long, yeah, long dude. time ago for me. That was a huge hit. I'd like to know where, what number it was out on the hit list from '84. Can you look that up, Chris, and see? Anybody? Sure. Yeah. Just to see where it was at. I think it should be up there on the list. I think. I they're, probably, they're probably trying to piggyback a little bit on the Radius of the Lost Ark from 81. They're trying to come out with some idea. And they probably yeah. didn't see that the second Indiana Jones also came in 84. So they were they were trying to do something there. Right. So it was number 10. Number 10. Okay, that's yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how much? How much? Can you, how much? It number made? ten. It grows to seventy-four million. Two. That's huge for that year. Yeah, for yeah. That seventy-four million. So number that's a one lot. was. So you had Ghostbusters at one, uh -huh. with two twenty. Indiana uh -huh. Jones. This is domestic, also by the way. Hey, domestic, yeah. Yeah, uh, Temple of Doom one seventy-nine. Gremlins one forty-eight. Karate Gremlins. Kid. Police Academy. So, from Karate Kid, Karate Kid was ninety million. Uh -huh. You got Police Academy at five with eighty-one. Okay. So from five to ten, it went from eighty-one to seventy-four. So it was oh wow! Close. Yeah. yeah. Police Academy, Footloose, Beverly Hills Cop, Star Trek Three, Terms of Endearment, Romance in the Stone. Huh. Yeah. <clears throat> most most of them were Paramount that year. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a big year. Big year for Paramount. <laughs> so Apocalypse Now. Apocalypse Now. That's finally, cool. I got that's one. That's a good the one. Back watermarks. With the back watermarks, that's a good one. Jesus yeah. took forever to get me one that's a good one that would be a 1987 yeah. release mm -hmm. the 75th the 75th anniversary print yes yeah right there 85th yeah because mm -hmm. uh the one before that um is the gatefold the early paramount gatefold mm -hmm. for that print yeah there is so there is yeah. a gatefold for this one yeah there's a gatefold yeah yeah it's a is. beautiful gatefold yeah. yeah yeah there is a gatefold yeah. i've never seen it so then I got this, yeah, and I got a, a, I got a question beautiful. about it, too. I have uh, a buddy of mine found one. Um, Who Joe? Oh, yo, uh, uh, you know, Who Frank. Joe? You know Frank. Frank yeah. found a gatefold. Oh, really? Of the Apocalypse Now, yeah. Mm. So I got Cujo. Well, you guys know Frank. <laughs> White oh, seal. Oh, I've been waiting for okay. this. But That's a good one, yeah. Plastic seal. So I, I'm, should I tear, tear off the plastic seal? Uh, yeah, don't I ask Danny because he'll tell you yes either way. <laughs> no, I, no, I, the plastic seal, Pretty not the seal that. seal. No, not she, he's not, it, Duke, he's not talking about opening it. He's talking about just yeah, that, that no. extra Danny's plastic like, that, sh that shouldn't be there anyway. Oh, I so, know, yeah, open I, it. but Let's I know see what's you inside. Too. I know. <laughs> yeah, I want to open tape. everything. <laughs> <laughs> I want. It's true. I want to open everything. Uh, so uh, yeah, dude, tear, tear the plastic. Let's do that. Let's do it live on the air. Let's see that. Beautiful, unless you <laughs> let me think about I mean, it, man. But that plastic, we, we know that plastic doesn't belong on there. So yeah, that's no, not I don't studio think plastic. plastic on here. No, it's not. It's not, it's not studio plastic. It's not, it's not. But, but if you want to keep it protected, <laughs> you know what? Yeah. It keeps it pretty and clean. So pretty and clean, yeah. No, but I'm, def I'm definitely gonna tear it up. Yeah, because it, it looks ugly. The why they oh, it the does, dude. It looks yeah. Yeah, look at it. You should put the dog on the cover. Should have put the what? The dog. Oh, the, so, yeah, yeah. Dude, Cujo's I think, great. I love Cujo, dude. I think there is one with the silver sticker, which pisses me off. Oh, there, <laughs> but, yeah, there, there has, yeah, there would be uh, one with the well, silver sticker. Well, I mean, sticker, there's, yeah. it's a, this is an 84, so it's pretty, yeah, but this, this, one with that, that this one with that white sticker would be like a, it, it has that white uh, Warner sticker on the side, so that would be probably 87, 88. Uh, they used an early box for it, yeah. So when it has the white sticker, it's what year? It's it's when Warner started using the white sticker, which we 1987, 88, and all. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, gotcha. because you see the bottom of the Warner tapes. You know how they have the white sticker? Yeah, that's yeah. The same, just, that's mm. the same sticker that's on the side of that. That's yeah. why the ones before that, you remember the silver sticker on the Some bottom of, of the have... Warner tapes was also on the side of that. So when yeah. Warner switched it up, that's also the case for these. So I thought these stickers came into play like 84. 
No, no, that's no, that's, no, that's 87 is when Werner okay. introduced those stickers at the bottom of their tapes. Yes. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I've never seen it. No, but it's still great, dude. No, it's yeah, awesome. Yeah, I've never I mean, seen it. So I was like, oh, dude, it's I a gotta, I gotta have I mean, it. it. I remember being a kid. Yeah, dude. We were scared as hell. About yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My brother yeah, and yeah. I. <laughs> that's still good, man. It's still amazing. I like yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. Let me see. Pablo, got... what do you think of Cujo? You love Cujo, right? I haven't seen it, to be honest with you. Oh, you haven't what? seen it? What? Pablo? Is there a horror? I, th- I didn't think there was a horror movie you hadn't seen, dude. I haven't seen Stand By Me either. Stand By Me, amazing. That was one of the ones that George made me watch. I, I love like, it. Oh, I I've love never it. seen it. He was like, that's yeah. it. That's the line. Stand you have to By Me. I love, love, But then love after that it was movie. over, I was like, did you just make me watch a whole movie about some kids being excited about finding a dead body? That's what you just made me watch? Like, I don't get it. So I got that, it, and I have it now VHS and beta. That's a beautiful but beta. This one is so mint, dude. Yeah, dude, yeah, it looks it's stunning. It's super, super mint. I, 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 that five, looks five, really five. nice. Yeah. It's adorable. Did you see? And it, it's all tiny. It, has the, it has the back <laughs> watermarks on it, which mm-hmm. is... Pretty. So yeah, that's definitely yeah. first print beta for sure. For sure, yeah. Yeah, that's a big deal. Yeah, yeah stand by me, dude. Auctions. I mean, who don't, who don't love stand by me? Right? That was. So that was. I saw that as a buy now, right? It was I, buy I it now, buys. yeah. And then you, I had offered, I had offered the the seller. Uh, 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 okay. I had made him an offer previously, and he told me no, and then he got back to me and and tried to like he just countered. We went back and forth, and then. He like kind of worked out. Yeah, it it's a out, dude. So. It's a great movie. I mean, who don't love yeah. Stand by Me, right? Yeah, I mean, I rarely see it with those back watermarks. Yeah, man, I never catch them. With no, them. yeah, no, that's that. They're they're tough. So. They're tough. Mm-hmm. That's the first. That's the first print for sure. Mm-hmm. Raiders, nice Raiders. Yep. Back watermarks. Back watermarks. That would be but not the, the first release. No, that would well, be the second issue. Second Raiders. release. That yeah. would be because uh, the 80, first one has the Temple of Doom. The Temple of Doom. I don't in the front. Yeah, so that would be mm-hmm. that. This copy fits and falls right before the special collector <clears throat> series that you see. So eighty six. Uh, this one would be eighty five, eighty five ish, eighty six ish around there. It's it's in between. It's in between the first box and the special collector series. Mm-hmm. They came out with this one. It's still great because it's still early, so it's still it's still. I'm sure it's a, I'm sure it's still a great tape in there. Because I think the first one's '84, right? The first one came out on video in, uh, if I believe, I think uh, it's early '84. Uh, eighty, uh, no, eighty, yeah, eighty, yeah, eighty. Wait, let's look yeah, that up. Temple of um, Temple of Doom came out '84, and it has '84. The, the... So the first one on video, the so Temple Temple of Doom came out in 1984, right? Yeah. So it's okay, got yeah, the, so, the whole so the thing. release. The release, that's what I was, I was getting confused by the years because I was looking at that print right now. But so the release for Raiders of the Lost Ark, the original one, was the end of 83 on video. Before Temple of Doom, that's why they put the ad on it because Temple mm-hmm. of Doom was coming out a few months after. Yeah. So, yeah. But that's still a great one, dude. It's still cool. I love for it. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I rarely, I rarely see them. I yeah, no, they're, it's awesome. And, and, and the cool yeah. thing is it's got the Paramount, the back watermarks. The back watermarks, yeah. It's exactly. awesome, right? It's beautiful. So I've I I've never seen this one. Which one's that one? Oh, Godfather. Godfather oh, two. dude, right, Godfather two. But so this one, yes, has these watermarks. I feel like it's so dim, right? The screen, or is that? Yeah, it is me? a little. Yeah, I'm, it's a little yeah. dim, right? <laughs> What's going on here? All right. Um. So it's got the watermarks. Okay. But it's there. You go. We're back. Okay. So okay. <laughs> it's got the watermarks. Uh-huh. But it's only got one, but it's definitely the bigger watermarks. So yeah, thinking, yeah, yeah. Is that Canadian? Would that mean it's Canadian? Uh, not necessarily. What does it say at the bottom? Does it say anything at the bottom? Anything? As far no. as what? Uh, like Canadian Paramounts usually have a VTR at the bottom of the tape. No. No. Okay. No, that's that's an no. American print. Okay. Um, they so just happen it's... to have you know the wrapping just happened to have fallen on the side. Yeah, exactly. But uh, this is for sure the uh, this should be the back watermark because it's for sure the yeah. I know it's size. the back watermark. Yeah. And what's yeah. the bar? Can you show us the barcode on that? Is that original the first barcode on it, or is that ISBN mm-hmm. barcode? No, it's not ISBN. I don't think okay. It's so right there. okay. Cool. Let's yeah, so this bring it up legit. closer to the screen. There you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. So this would be yeah. This would second be like uh, there's a second release, right? That's the second release. Yeah, from eighty. This is 86. 86, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. I also got 
the first one. That one, dude. I was just gonna ask you about that one. You know? <laughs> that's the one, dude. That's the little banger right there. Because nineteen seventy nine. Dude, yeah, that is a dope. Uh, not even back bar watermark on it. So early. ultra dope, dope. Mm -hmm. I, I can't say it enough. That is so awesome, dude. That is yeah, I, beautiful. I, I, and that's early, like pre Paramount watermarks. Mm -hmm. I mean, that copy has everything. It, it's, got every, it's got everything. It's got everything going dude. for it. So yeah, dude, it's seventy nine. Yeah, one of the first VHSs. One of the race. first VHSs. Wow. And Didn't I think that. I think that had the price tag on it still, right? Look at that, seventy nine ninety five, right there. Yeah, Whew. that's pretty wild. <laughs> that's what they were yeah. going for. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, this came up, and I, I was like, oh well. Yeah, you got to get your hands. I'm, on that, I'm getting this one. Shit, that's a beautiful one. <laughs> Pablo, yeah. do you, are you are you are you got any of you all? Uh, are you guys a fan of The Godfather? I mean, I, I love The Godfather. Of course, yeah. I think yeah. the second one is better than the first one. A lot of people. Yes. Would, yeah, a lot of people would agree to that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah first, but still. Iconic. Yeah. Arlon Brando was iconic, but this one, I, I I like this one by by a slight margin. Yeah. I still got to take the sticker off on this one. Yeah. Now you got both, yeah, dude. You got yeah. the early, the first, first. Now you got yeah. the late. This. And then I got the later. third one too with back watermarks, dude. Nice. Yeah, yeah which nice. I've never seen another copy with that. So that's a good one, dude. Congrats on that piece, man. That's Thank you, really sir. great. And then I got I got this one too. I'll throw this one in there. I got it so cheap, I just bought it. What's the, what's, what's the title on that? The Four Seasons. <laughs> but it's 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 Rainbow MCA. I, it's okay. very early. No, yeah, yeah, it doesn't. It's but, got no. It's yeah. It has Free no watermarks. Rainbow on it. watermarks. Yeah. But it's, I mean, it's a legit seal. I can yeah. tell. Right? Yeah. 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 I and love it. And then check dude. this out. Look at the tag on this baby. What does it say? Oh, yeah. 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 So you, you know it was a good one. Yeah. Baby. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> can we see the bottom of that tape? Does it say sure. anything on it? No. Let me, let's, let's zoom in. Bring the bottom and bring it up close to the camera. Yeah. That looks cool. I don't, do you, is there an MCA? nothing on the on the tape anything on it at all there is nothing dude but what nothing? you're thinking okay. it might be a rewrap no 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 no. i'm just i'm talking about the tape itself i'd have to you know with these oh I'd have no to feel, i'd have to feel the plastic on that because it's yeah. hard it's hard to tell off from a video so, this is all the, about the when it comes down to you feel the plastic. feels really good dude and i know yeah, i know i'm seeing plastic legit. well so and then not, not only that this like this would grade insanely high yeah, dude, that's a it's a cool one. It's definitely a cool one. I just thought the title was funny at first. <laughs> yeah, Four I mean, it's got Carol Burnett. So yeah, dude, it's super yeah. early, dude. That's why I just thought it was funny because you know it's not. I, 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 you know, why I laughed because it's something that I wouldn't see you go for. You went from the Godfather. To no, that. you know what I mean. Yeah, I know. Well, that's why I said I'll throw it in there. I had it. I have it no, there. I know. My desk. No, it's still like, yeah, cool, but because you're talking about the Godfather, which is you know. Yeah. I wanted to close uh, out with the Godfather. And I wanted you go to, to Carol out. Burnett, you know. <laughs> Wait, Carter, you know, Carter, Carter just kept showing. So like, right. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. That's no, funny. That, well, Pablo, you're good. next. Tell us what's going on with you, Pablito. I have what? two bullet tapes that I had, guys. I got no tapes. I only have a marble. <laughs> oh, dude. There do you want? Go. Do you want? Do you want more? I had about like two, like I had probably close to a hundred of those PSA ten mm. from that series, yeah. And Rafa Nadal. Oh, sweet rookie. No, I don't know. That's Lisa, really cool. Lisa That's just, really cool. Somebody That's gave cool. me a gift. Uh, I'm at a mm. shop, so I cannot show you some of the tapes. But, That's uh, really cool. Yeah, that's a ninety-one set. I had. Or, or Maya, you have anything prepared? I'm sorry for what? For any of the recent sales or auctions? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I wanted to see if you guys wanted to look at the golden auction that ended on the 18th. Absolutely. I'll be right back, guys. Golden auction? I mean, some of the things were so cheap. I uh, know. Oh. <laughs> so let's see what we have here. That was from before. $16. This one is the first one, I think. That one was from before. That was yeah. the one on end on 8.6. I this was looking one, at though, that one. I think was the first one that came up. I don't know anything about this. Um, it seems like being a screener and considering it's like a hundred bucks to get these things graded in the first place that it would have went for more than that, but don't know anything about yeah, it. Yeah, I think it's the maybe the grade. Number it. at the bottom, Maya. What is it? It is not. It is not the, the first UFC was in 1983. No. 
So oh, this yeah. is okay. UFC number nine. So it's not the first UFC. So it's a trash tape. That's why it went so cheap. No, no, I don't it's think just... it's a trash tape. I think if if that would have been like a nine nine, it would have gone for for a nice yeah. dollar amount. Mm. But this at is least a the, grand. Uh, I mean, it's the ninth UFC. I looked the Roman numbers over there in red. Yeah, in the bottom. Mm -hmm. it's, the, it's the third year of the UFC, so. Okay. You want to go for the first one, maybe the second one, because it's also always Gracie, the, the champion, but the first UFC will be always uh, the one to get. Yeah, for sure. I think I think they're all pretty nice, all especially good. you get the problem. The second one is iconic, the way he won, If you, if you, because I got the chance to, to see that back in 1993. Uh, it was crazy how he won the second one. Um, but, yeah, I would like to get one of those. Okay, so these all went for 120, 120, 120, like all of these, um, which wasn't really surprising. They all seemed like pretty common tapes. What's that, Pablo? Basically, what it costs you to get them graded. Yeah. So basically, don't don't invest in those. Yeah, these are all super common. I don't know why anybody would send them in. Grade them. You shouldn't buy them. Let's see what's on this page. I started from the last page, so let's see. Um, again, all these common tapes. Come on, come on, come on. Nope, nope. Night of the Living Dead, this is super common. I think this is the that is like the latest print. <laughs> Bring your dog, Danny. Bring Jelly Bean. What was that? Uh, Bring, Bring Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean, uh, Jelly Bean is chilling. With the Freddy Krueger costume. Wait, the, oh, <laughs> dude, that picture you sent me was hilarious, Pablo. I'm going to oh, consider those it. Screens. Shit, those screens, they went cheap. Yeah, they did go cheap. Those are kind I, of common, but I think those are good buys, man. I thought, yeah, Indeed. I thought that these would go for more, but they didn't. Those are very good buys. Mm -hmm. those are, yeah, those are good buys. Uh, the one with uh, the blonde. What's the name of the yeah. blonde? Drew Barrymore. Yeah, it was, it was Barrymore. The, the first one. Yeah, the first yeah, one. Yeah. Well, the, the most difficult to find. So. Yep. Yeah, the first one. Yeah, yeah. those are real good buys, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Super cheap. Only had two bids on them. That's you know what box. happens? You know what happens to me with these is I, I I'm I keep an eye on the bigger tapes, and then I see all these and other these tapes go for so cheap. Yeah, I know. Damn. I they ended. They all ended. It was that stupid extended bidding that got me. Zoolander. That's the one that I'm kicking yeah. myself. That's the first release right there. Mm. Super cheap. I should have bought that Zoolander. I, I regret it. I had bought one of these and had it graded forever ago, and then somebody found a whole freaking warehouse of them and bought them on eBay, and they're like totally mm -hmm. worthless. Nah, that'll come back. Uh, yeah. Stand by me. I'm that's gotta be a late one. Stand by me. It's gotta be yeah. Yeah. Is that's that how much not, did it go for? That's not. One hundred twenty dollars. Oh yeah, no, that's no. so yeah, late. Yeah. That's so late. I. Yeah. Looks to me, that's. Star. I call those. You know what I it's call It's not those? even I, the full box. You know what do you call them, yeah. Danny? What do you call them? I. I call those the kiss of VHF, VHS death. Batman <laughs> when they're that late. The kiss of VHS death. But here's the thing. We even, but here's the thing. I'm not saying that they're bad prints. It's just, it really just comes. If you're cool with having that movie, it's cool. But if you're like a hardcore collector and you want the really early stuff, then Chris, obviously, you know, your stand by me is the one to have, right? Yeah. This sure. blew my mind too. I can't believe this went for super cheap. Which one is that? Some bizarre horror movie. I feel like I've seen open copies of this go for higher than that, so it's just bizarre. Huh. Yeah, those watermarks are dope too. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah. yeah. They're cool, yeah. 150. Oh man. 150, know, yeah. that's super cheap. So Karate Kid went for twenty five hundred. There was another big tape on Yeah, but somewhere. that's not that's not back Nope. Nope. No sure way. And yeah. that and that's actually a pretty good price for a non- yeah, that's, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's actually a pretty good price for that. And for an eight point five. Yeah, for a later print. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even see watermarks on this. There are it, no watermarks. It's, on it? it's probably on the side. They're just probably faded. Faded. Yeah. You're yeah. Right, yeah. Go to that's the other awful. side, maybe. <laughs> Looks like nothing. It doesn't look like there's watermarks yeah, on sure it at all. Yeah, I'm sure it's there. Yeah, but but I have to say that's pretty good price for that non watermark. Mm -hmm. uh, Karate Kid, right, guys? Oh, yeah, obviously... that's, a, that's a that's a really good price. I'd be happy yeah, with that. 
Yeah. yeah, because obviously the first, the one with the actual back watermarks mm -hmm. would definitely that's be... That's the one you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay, for sure. Let's see what else. Maria Chi. Ghostbusters went for $1,400. See what that's a good price. That's, that's pretty yeah, good. I think that's where you expect it, because I've seen those um, not graded sell for like 500 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. That exact type, right? So graded, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, you want to see some profit. Yeah. Right? So there's the border. Uh, Bill and yep, Ted Bill went and for Ted. nothing. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a late Bill and Ted. One. How much yeah, does that go for? One twenty. One eighty. Uh, oh, was it one twenty? I saw one eighty. One eighty. Yeah, one eighty. Yeah. See, this is the one. This is just the media, mm, and it only yeah, went for two forty. went for. You see, I didn't even pay attention to that one. I, this was the one I was trying to bid on and did bid on, but that extended bid had got me. And I do my shows at nine o'clock uh, on Wednesdays yeah. or Thursdays. It was Thursday, <clears throat> so I was trying to do my VHS show while I was bidding on this. And I, how long did that extended thing go? It uh, goes all. It know. goes. It depends on the tape. So if, I, if, I think it went on like 30, 35 minutes. But then oh, later, I, I don't know if it was yeah. Pablo. So or once some, somebody told me that they were also bidding on it, and I was like, okay, well, I was wasting my time then. So if somebody bids on it, it extends 30 minutes. Yeah, they do it on purpose. Uh, so everybody on the East Coast, they have to stay until late. So, so we have an advantage standing on the West Coast. We have <laughs> I'm I was, pretty I mad was, about it. There's a guy I was, on eBay. 30 minutes. I was we we got to be we got to be texting each other that hour. For like, sure. Yeah, perfect right? for us. Right? Yeah. Even it's perfect for us. You can do a little bit and then 30 minutes and then put another bit. And then <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. There's a guy on eBay that has one of these up, but he wants like a grand for it. And I was like, dude, one just sold a golden auction mm. for 240 And he was like, I know what everything a golden auction sold <laughs> for. <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> I tried. Didn't work out for me. So hmm. that's a great cover. I know. I'm pretty salty that I missed Oh, the it. Magic the Gathering one. Wow. That's yeah, always... I can't believe. I, I'm honestly surprised that that didn't go for more. Maybe there's just a lot of them I haven't checked. But that's, that's getting that's a like lot of popularity. Really great, uh, tape. Uh, magic the Gathering is huge. And yeah. For, you know, that's going to be a big tape, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah I was some playing of cool just that trash. Night, And I missed yeah, every Like thing. super late stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, and really? I, I bid on a few too, but I, the extended bidding was killing me. I was playing pool and drinking, so nonsense. This yeah, nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Get out of here with this. <laughs> it, it seems like Carter had the most exciting lineup. But you know right? what? I um, <laughs> I have to say, I didn't think that I mean, any Chris, plastic could be more the, worthless the, than a clamshell, a Disney clamshell. But then they made it more worthless by adding more plastic somehow. Like I, closing I out, know. closing it out with the Four Seasons killed me, right, <laughs> right Daddy? With the what, dude? With the what? Closing it out with the Four Seasons. <laughs> right, right. Well, I'm just saying because Carter had a, some incredible tapes. He pulled out all these wraparounds, and then you pulled out that freaking Godfather. And then that Godfather is everything. And then, you know, you gotta go we're bizarre. trying to see here what's exciting. But, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I can't wait for Heritage's auction because this oh, is dude, that, that, that been disappointing. auction is going to be, like, so insane. I mean, it's going to be insane. I know it will. This, too. I cannot believe that 1989 Batman, first of all, there's so many of them out there, right? Yeah, and so many yeah. of them and that have really good watermarks. Why yeah. would you put this one in an auction when the watermarks are so yeah. awful? The, they're yeah. barely Which there. Which one is this one? Is that oh, the one I, that they're there? Yeah. They're just I mean, on the front. So yeah. that's a good question, right? Danny, Where what, what are do you the watermarks? They're there. They're there. Well, they're yeah, there. But they're like, they look like shit. No, but they yeah. probably just they probably just um, got a little got worn, you know, yeah. they wore off at some point. So I just feel uh, like there's so many Batmans out there. If you yeah, were going to put tons, one in an yeah. auction, why would yeah. you not pick one for an auction that has crispy but watermarks? But yeah. I mean the grade is what's important, right? The the what? The grade is what's the grading, important, yeah, right? yeah. It's still a great nah, box. It's, it's always an extra nice thing yeah. when, you, when the, the watermarks are like super. Can, do pure. we? Can we see the bottom of that tape? The bottom of it. The seal the is what uh, kills it. Okay, yeah, that's still legit. Yeah, I'm talking about because it's got that, it's got that white sticker on the side. Yeah, yeah. I Batman. just think uh, with as many of them that, are, that there are out there, I can't believe Golden couldn't find a yeah. better one to put in their auction. Batman is Batman is an interesting. It's always an, a fascinating print for me for many reasons because they kind of. When Batman came out, they had special watermarks made specially for Batman that only Batman has. Mm -hmm. But at the same Anyone. time, they had to make so many of them that they used every other watermark from the time period, too, to, 
mm -hmm. wrap up yeah. all the tapes. So that's why you see the wraparounds on the Batman, which you think that because the you see like when you see the wraparounds on those Batmans, you think, oh, that's the first, but that's not necessarily the first. That is more like the unique watermarks mm -hmm. for that print because the first ones are the, you know, the chain ones that we see in the front. Yep. And then they were also using the other watermarks that Warner Brothers was using for their releases at that time that year too. So I think this one's cool. I so, can't believe it went for under 500 bucks. So it has a combo. Yeah, that's a cool yeah, one. Yeah, they're, they're off first, but for me, the, the rarest one is a wraparound. I yeah, the, yeah, Chris, that that's one. a good point. Yeah, the, because yeah. it is. They're all mm -hmm. first because they came out together, but the wraparound, you're right, because the wraparound, they were pulling plastic I from mean, the previous years to wrap them. So, yes. I don't have one. You don't have one? And I really want one. I've had people really tell want. me they have a few. Like, the one that yeah. I really do. They sell I think me I one. Know, I think yeah, I know so someone that has one, so maybe I'm going to have them reach out. This devastated me. This was the other one that I was bidding mm. on. Which one um, is that? Westworld. Westworld. Yeah, that's, oh, that's a cool went one. Went for under 500 bucks. I'm literally <laughs> heartbroken. Oh, that's I was bidding on this one, and again, the extended bidding just fucked me because I, I couldn't pay attention to it. I'm so huh. upset. Interesting. Just so wicked. That's, that's a really, really cool. That's a really cool one. Though. 400. I mean, the the buyer's premium took it to 480, but it was a 400 dollar bid. Yeah, I cannot. I cannot believe this. I can't believe it went for under a grand. That's a really cool one. It's fucking Westworld. Yeah. That's yeah. the original Terminator, guys. What was that? The original Terminator. Westworld. <laughs> Westworld. Well, I can't believe it. Character of the of the the man in black. Okay, and this one too. That went cheap. All fiction. Four seventy five was the winning bid. Cheap? It's I mean it's an eight zero. Yeah. The grade, you know. Yeah. I feel like that's a good price for that. Yeah, I think it's a good price for yeah. it. For an I'm eel? Convinced, yeah. I'm convinced whoever submitted that lost money. Oh, that I one? So. I would say, yeah, probably. Considering how much it costs to get your shit graded at VHS DNA, isn't it like almost 200 bucks? <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, I think 145 or something. Is that, is that how much? It, is, it that lost what the grading, is that what the grading price is for, for, for VHS DNA? Yeah, the, yeah, the yeah price. it's like the most expensive place you can send them, I think. Is it, how much is it to what? Like no, 140 it, or something? I think it's 140. Uh, 140, okay. It's like the ugliest I'm, slab, too. I'm wondering now if they're going to, now that Beckett has it, are they going to change pricing? Are they going to change the label to Beckett? Oh, somebody, that, actually, I've had, I've had two different people ask me this. Um, do you guys think that now, just on the basis that VHS DNA has been taken over by Beckett, do you think that these VHS DNA graded tapes are going to lose value in compared to IGS graded tapes or VGA graded tapes? Why would it now that I feel like it would go up, if anything. I don't know. I mean, we've seen some different auctions where it seems like this one sells for more than this one, but they're identical tapes, so why did that happen? And I'm no. like, I don't know. I mean, maybe it's just the time of day that it was listed. Like, who fucking knows, right? I like, think right now it's yeah. such a tape war. Like, you're just trying to get a tape, period, that yeah, they're all going for a good price. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. think it matters to a grading company right now, honestly. Mm. I think maybe in the future it'll sort itself out. But, but that's I think a good right point. Now, that's a good point, Chris. Yeah, right now, um, it's just get your hands on whatever you can. <laughs> get I your hands. Yeah. This one went so high, too. Like your godfather? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, yeah. Shit. <laughs> the Harry Potter? That's a common tape. That's super common. That's why I can't believe it went so yeah. high. No way. What it, you know, so I saw that, and then I checked eBay. I looked for one, and they were all in such bad condition. Mm. Where I'm like, huh, maybe. If, so if you find a mint one, buy it. Mm. Because I could not find one in condition that I, that I, that I was fine with. Yeah. Yeah. Strange. American Psycho. American Psycho. That was a deal, I think. That's a good deal. Yeah, yeah. This was about... bizarre. Yu Gi Oh. I don't get it. It's weird. I like games. that it's sideways. Yeah, like, awesome. I they love this tape. Of... I love it. And they were like, I it's don't know if this is. Oh, man. okay. So this is a Japanese one. Yeah. Because in the U.S., there's I've had several of these open that like people love these, right? right? And they would they would send them to you in the mail because they've always got like the the sticker on the back how they send it in the right, mail right, or right. whatever. And they're like invitations to like watch these events or whatever, or watch the show or a movie's coming out or something. Right, 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 right. But they're like pretty common, but people love them. But this one's yeah. Japanese. I wonder if that's what makes it. Uh... I don't know. It's cool though. Yeah, it is cool. cool. It looks cool. Yeah, it is cool. I like it. There's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh fans. That's Yu-Gi-Oh. It's, right? it's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of fans out there. That's like yeah, you know, second to Pokemon, right? Yeah, so. yeah. 
Star okay, Wars. Star this, is, Wars. this is the other big one. This is the other big one. Bang. Holy yeah, God. that's that's damn. Well, that's yeah. That's I was a, that's, yeah. I'd say I was that's hoping a decent. That's a that's decent a good, prize for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For sure. Well, it's a nine two, so I think it, it's right on point. Two right? Yeah. Yeah, too. Yeah, that's a good price uh, for that one, dude. I was hoping sure. that one or Back to the Future would slip a little bit and I uh-huh. could grab it, but, but yeah. no, man. Not, mm-hmm. people, not for that one. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. people still want them, dude. Yeah. Hey, I'm not surprised that it went for that. Yeah, yeah, twenty five. People were watching the big tapes. Yeah. This one almost broke two k. That taxi driver. Yeah, yeah that taxi driver is amazing. I want yeah. the eighty three. Is that man. is that the back watermarks on that taxi driver? Yeah, but it's eighty five. That's the thing. It's, so it, it, it's still yeah. great, though. It's no, still it's great. Still, yeah, it's yeah. still amazing. No, that's. It, those I are still rare. think. I thought it was it a good went, price for it. It went what? for a good price for sure. Yeah. yeah, that's a that's an amazing print too. Did you guys see the one? It was the eBay auction. It was a it was a TriStar. Yeah, that's the eighty three. But it, they didn't have back watermarks. Yeah, they, I mean, dude, uh, a taxi driver. Even if even if it's eighty five, that's still an incredible print because it still has the back watermarks on it. That's still mm-hmm. an incredible piece to have. Absolutely, right, sure. especially because it's taxi driver. Because the one before that would be the Columbia Pictures with the uh, different watermarks, the ones that Matrix. wrap. That's mm-hmm. a good one, guys. Trying to buy that Matrix, the first the, release. One oh, you try, you're trying to buy it, Pablo? I think those are good investment. I mean, Matrix is an iconic movie. Yeah, yeah. of course, Matrix is iconic. Yeah. Keanu Reeves. Keanu, Keanu. Yeah, guys, I have like. I'm sorry, Pablo. I didn't mean to interrupt. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, Maya. I, I want to make a petition to expand the Holy Trinity. Have you guys heard of this? Of like Bob Ross and Mr. Rogers and um, the crocodile hunter, Steve Irwin. And they're like, oh, it's the Trinity of wholesomeness. I want to add a fourth to that and I want it to be hmm. Keanu Reeves because he's just like <laughs> he's the awesome. nicest like he, first of all he is the sweetest man and secondly like did you guys know when he did different movies like john wick he actually like trained with those weapons like yeah i saw that keanu dude. reeves is a fucking badass <laughs> he's yeah, yeah i love keanu i love keanu Keanu's he's awesome. fucking wicked i love keanu reeves Keanu's great yeah yeah i think matrix that's if you get this release, or there is another tape that says for my consideration that mm-hmm. I seen one on eBay. I mean, those that should be insane big, but otherwise, you just have to go for that one over there. How about this? Yeah, the 88, 88 set is cool. Is is Danny the 88 set that one right there? That's the one that comes with the metal piece in the back. Why the is Danny gone? Oh, back? Danny's gone. Oh, then he went okay. sideways. I know Mikey said <laughs> that he would have bought this in a heartbeat. Who said that? Mikey. Mikey? Yeah, I, I think he went for a good price. He, he would have bought this for more than what he just sold. So, uh, what year is this? That's 88. 88? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And so that all the tapes inside are also 88 mm-hmm. prints? Okay. Um. Uh, so, I think it's, it's definitely not 84. So, it, it should be like because you could even see they're not they're not the vertical water or water marks go back right, right there right right yeah so, so but they don't hard? they don't have the 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 sticker the sticker um barcode All right so that's a good thing it's before that so why is this so valuable chris i think it's valuable because you never see them like you never find that set that set's very hard to find hmm. i've seen it less than a handful of times okay yeah i've seen i haven't well, seen it all but all right yeah First trilogy pack of nineteen. So if you get that, you don't. I wouldn't tear it up, just because it's so hard to find this that set, right? Hmm. Danny, what a big case! I wanted to ask. So that set. Can you hear me, Danny? Danny, no, no, he can't hear us. (laughs) (laughs) Danny, checking one, two, three. No, Danny, we lost him. Danny, Danny. In the, I see you, but I don't hear you. All right. Well, that was all we had from the Golden Auction. A lot of really low numbers. They had a couple of winners. Harry Potter's man, J.K. Rowling. Right. They had a yeah. They had a Back to the Future too. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, was one. Yeah. Um, that went for like sixteen. I think. I think it was a nine point two. And then they had. Oh, I think you just passed it. The one that really hurts is going to be that Westworld. That one right there. Yeah. That right here. Yeah. 
17. Oh, dude, I'm crying over the West World. So it went, I'm this, so you know how what's funny is that this one went more than the other one that went the week before, and and that one was a 9.4. Wow. So the 9.2 hmm. went for 17, the 9.4 went for 16, just a week prior. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Well, they're so hard to get, right? So again, like where, what I'm saying, where? it's, it's a matter of... Sold? On, on Golden. Mm-hmm. Oh, on Golden. Yeah, look like at that seal. It's A plus plus, guy. It was the first one. It was the first one you clicked on when you went to Golden. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. that was only like two weeks prior. Two weeks before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But I, I, like I said, at this point, is like get your hands on whatever you can, right? So it's, uh, grading almost doesn't even matter. I mean, you don't want to get one that's damaged, right? Like completely damaged, but. But I, I guarantee you an 8.5 Back to the Future would go for 15, right? 14, 15, because it's like, they're so hard to come by. Oh, yeah. People want them. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. How much did that one go for? This what one went for 17. 17? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. a nice yeah, one. It was good. It was good. Well, I was just saying, Danny, that the two, two weeks prior, there was one, there was a 9.4 that went for 16. Oh, Danny's in and out. There, you yeah. Good there? Danny, <laughs> you're freezing. <laughs> Well, guys, I think uh, you guys have any closing thoughts. We're going to wrap this up anyway. We went over a little bit, but I think they'll forgive us since we haven't yes. been here. <laughs> yeah. When is the show? Tomorrow? They'll get their fix. Available tomorrow to watch Sunday? Um, so we're recording this on a Saturday. So tomorrow, uh, Dino, Mr. Dino, will upload it and everyone can view it on Sunday, the regular day. And then I guess I'm just going to continue to check in with you guys. If we're going to have people available on Sunday, we'll do a live show. If not, I'll just be working with you guys to see when we can do a pre-recorded show. So, um, that's how we're going to do it from here on out. I think it's really important. We, I mean, we missed these last two weeks, um, and a lot of good stuff has sold on eBay. I mean, a ton of good stuff has sold on eBay. Um, and I wanted to talk about these auction results. And now, of course, what is it? The Comic Connect auction is going on right now, right? Comic mm-hmm. Connect? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'd like long. for us to be here talking about it. I don't want people to think that we've disappeared. We definitely haven't. No. We're all still here. And we're all still buying tapes. <laughs> it's, <got laughs> that, it's tough to wrangle everybody. It's we're got that like, Goonies, that Goonies copy. That's we're just like so busy. So And there's a lot of us um, in the group that we're trying to get together for the show so but we will be here we're gonna try to have an episode for you guys every week well good to see you guys i have to say it's about also great show look at him promoting starbucks on top of him look at him. <laughs> he's complaining about how hot it is but he's drinking or, coffee or... it makes no sense <laughs> all right guys <laughs>